stay on now. A slab. <laughs> now that one hit it a little better when he hit it. Thumped it. Oh, yeah. And he ate it. That's a winter trout. Yeah. That is a winter trout there. Trout here on the Sports Coast. There we go. Wow, a hefty one. Good one there. Yeah, he was eating it. Yeah, he was. He was gonna get all of it, huh? Uh huh. He did. Right in the roof of his mouth. Well, at least he wasn't gonna get off. No. Yeah. Even That's... with you holding it, it looks big, <laughs> dude. Oh. They're all happy with their fins up. Come on, don't get shy now. There we go. Nice. Cool. That notch in his tail. Yeah. Like another trout bit him. Yeah, something took a bite out. Cool. Good job. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Fishing back here in the back. Better. All we lack is a snook. I know it. And We've seen with them. the Raymarine saying it's almost 69 degrees, that's <laughs> well within the realm of possibility. Yeah. One of the uh, the secrets to making baits work better uh, artificials, especially when you're fishing zones that are inundated with a lot of uh, bait fish and guides that throw bait fish, is to change the rhythm up quite a bit. But by keeping the bait tight to the bottom with a slow, steady retrieve, but making contact with the bottom, that was key. That was key in us catching redfish, and it was definitely key for us catching trout because those fish were laying flat on the bottom, and we were fishing some deeper holes in many cases, and if you did not have that slow, consistent cadence and keeping that bait making contact with the bottom, well, you weren't actually fishing anymore. You were doing nothing. There's a fish. All right, here we go. Power pole down. Keep your balance. You got it. Feels like a, another trout. Man, if that's a trout, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. One of the, the really, I guess, cool features of sea trout is the fact that these, these fish are beautiful. They have that iridescent purple and green back, and they are freckled like no trout you've ever seen. They don't look like that in Alabama or Mississippi, and they darn sure don't look like that in Louisiana. But West Coast, Florida, I mean, those speckled trout, they are picture perfect. This is my best one. That's nice. Big old fish there. 